Hello, I'm Keith Orchison. One of the most important things that needs to be dealt with in Australia today is the tape, red and green, that envelops energy developments. And we're pleased to have the opportunity of talking to Reg Nelson, who is one of the most respected members of the energy industry in this country. Reg is the managing director of Beach Energy and he is the former chairman of the Australian Petroleum Production and Exploration Association. This is what he had to say on what government needs to do to make things work better. Speaking as an oil and gas person, I think there are three key priorities for Australia at the present time in terms of policy making and decisions. One's longer term, but still critical. One's near to medium term and very critical. And one is actually a clear and present danger. The first uh, is the longer term aspect. We have to import uh, more and more of our liquid fuels for transport, crude oil if you like. We've moved from self-sufficiency in 2000 to a point where in a few years' time up to 70 to 80 percent of our crude will need to be imported and that will produce a trade deficit. The more uh, near to mid-term issue really affects something we have in abundance and that's gas. But the critical problem is that we are making bottlenecks and rods for our backs in terms of getting this gas to market. New South Wales, for example, New South Wales has to import 95% of its gas from other states. Uh, if you look at the long-term committed contracts for New South Wales, they fall over a cliff in a few years' time. That is very eminent. Forget the term fisc fiscal cliff. New South Wales is facing an energy precipice. The reasons really lie in, first of all, too much red and green tape imposing uh, sanctions on projects moratoriums if you like. The third aspect, the clear and present danger, affects not just our industry but others as well. And it's the uh, increasing tendency for governments to respond to ideological campaigns run by social media. Government by Twitter. As John Stuart Mill would have had it, it's the tyranny of the majority, but in this case, it's the tyranny of the perceived majority. The South Australian government has put plenty of thought into developing a roadmap for unconventional gas projects in the state. They've taken advice and consulted with all stakeholders, environmental, social uh, communities to provide something that is a basis, a framework for conducting these projects in a safe and responsible manner. But it is critical for governments to be able to lead. It's critical for us to be able to unlock the energy demands of this nation. We've been listening to Reg Nelson, Managing Director of Beach Energy. I think stakeholders in this industry should heed what he's been saying to us. And in closing, can I thank the Energy Policy Institute of Australia. The uh, interview with Reg was originally shown at a, an institute forum.